Hello, hello, hello. Today is Saturday, October 14, 2023. I am still in Paris. I have decided to use as a solution the one from Ulf Haller. That doesn't mean that there were no others who were also correct, of course. I have taken all of his solution with only a few minor touches that may help you. I very quickly looked over his solution and they looked fine, perhaps with one exception, but I didn't go over it with a fine comb. So if you have problems with his solutions, I suggest you contact him on my YouTube channel. So under A, the, to find the polarization, we can just look at how the electric field varies with time. So we choose x equals zero, and then it follows what you see here, EY and EC. The difference in phase delta phi between EZ and EY is zero. So the polarization is linear. However, the magnitude of EZ is four times the magnitude of EY. So the angle from the, e my, the EY minus axis is the arc tangent of four, which is about 76 degrees. I have added below a picture of this solution. So I will go down now. Look at the left picture in blue, if you can see it. That is the solution that Ulf mentioned, including the ratio 4 to 1, EZ over EY. Two, EY is minus E0 cosine omega t, which is minus E0 of the sine of omega t plus pi over 2 and EZ is E0 sine omega 2. The magnitude of EY in EZ is the same, so it's 1. And delta phi has a constant value of pi over 2 radians, which is 90 degrees. So this means that we're dealing here with right circular polarization rotates clockwise in the YZ plane and moves opposite the direction of the x-axis. I will show you my solution in blue. So this is all solution number two, right here. Circularly polarized. Now the last one E of y is 2e0 sine omega 2, and E of z is 2e0 sine omega 2. Like in 1, we have delta phi is 0, so we have linear polarization. But the magnitudes in the two directions is the same, because the angle is 45 degrees, and you see that here. B. Omega over k is the phase velocity, and that is f times lambda. Angular frequency divided by the wave number is the phase velocity. In this case, omega divided by k is c, which is the speed of light, 
so the wave is propagating in vacuum. The corresponding B vectors are in the YZ plane perpendicular to the E vectors and with the amplitude of E vector divided by the phase velocity, which is C. And so you see that here. This is for case 1. And this is his solution for case 2. Where is it? Here. So this is his solution. My own solutions show the same value as Ulf has, but I find plus signs here. I leave it up to you and Ulf to argue about this. Which of the two is correct? My instinct tells me that my solution is correct, but I really don't have the time to go over details now. I'm still on vacation and deal with it with Ulf. And then in three, this is the B field, and I agree with Ulf in this case. So, I sent you a complete solution even while I am on vacation. We'll be back in the States in uh, about two or three days. Of course, as always, we will be friends. That's a given.